Hi everyone, it's Civil Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you SPLine command in AutoCAD. To watch all the videos on this channel, click on the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get regular updates from Civil Engineering Tutorials. Also, like this video in case you find it helpful. So, let's get start our video. So, what is SPLine? SPLine is used to draw smooth curve in AutoCAD. So we use SP line to draw smooth curve. Now shortcut key of SP line is SPL. Shortcut key is SPL. Or go to draw panel. And first tool is SP line fit. And second one is SP line CV. CV means control vertices. So there are two methods to draw SP line. Fit points, SP line fit points and SP line control vertices. Okay. So give command SPL. SP, you can also select SP line from here. This is SP line command or give SP line command. Shortcut key is SPL. Enter. Now there are two, three options here method, nodes, and object. You can see here three methods. Now select method. Now we have two options fit and CV. Okay, two options fit and CV. So first select fit, click on fit. Now specify first point here. Okay, now draw a smooth curve. You can see this is a smooth curve. You can draw a smooth curve. Okay, so in this method, you can see. In this method, SP line is passing through the fit points. Means its vertices are on the SP line. Okay. The SP line is passing through the fit points. Okay. Again take SP line. Now method. Take next method CV. Select CV. Now specify first point. Click here. Now you can see. The difference, you can see the dotted line here. These are the vertices. Okay. The dotted line are the vertices. Now, if you want to drag the vertices, then shape of the SP line will be changed. Okay. Here, in second method, the vertices are away from the curve. You can see here, vertices are away from the curve. But in first method, vertices on the SP line. But in second method, vertices are away from the curve curve if, if you drag if you drag the vertices then shape of the sp line will be changed okay so this is the difference on first method sp line passing through the fit points but in second method vertices away from the curve here sp line is passing through the fit points means vertices are on the sp line but in second method vertices are away from the curve so this is the difference you can also change the shape of the curve by dragging these fit points okay so you can edit the sp line like this okay you can change the shape now if you want to edit the sp line then take the crosser to the fit point okay by dragging you can change the shape to edit you need to take the crosser to the fit point select okay now take the crosser to the fit point now we have three options here stretch fit points add fit points and remo remove fit points Okay, so first option is stretch fit points means if you want to stretch, so select stretch fit points. See, if you want to stretch or drag the curve, then select stretch fit point. Now select, now I'll stretch like this. Okay, now again take crusher, stretch like this. All right, now. Take the crusher to the fit point. Now I want to add fit point. So add fit point means you need to add another fit point. Suppose I'll add here. So click here. See another fit point. Here we can, you can see 
again add fit points here click here you can see another fit point or I'll add another fit point add fit point here I want to add another fit point you can see okay now take the cursor add fit point I want to add another fit point here uh, suppose here click here see you can edit like this I want to another I want to add another here click here you can see so in this way you can add fit points now remove fit point suppose you want to remove so select remove now I want to remove this take cursor then remove fit point see remove this fit point remove now I want to remove this one then remove fit point see you can see how to remove remove fit points okay now I'll to remove this okay now I'm to remove this one you can see so in this man manner you can edit SP line I want to remove suppose this one okay so now here select I want to edit this one now in control vertices we have four options stretch vertices add vertices refine vertices remove vertices so stretch vertices is same thing you can stretch to any direction now add vertices you want to add vertices click here so another vertices is, you want to add another vertices here click here okay now if add vertices you want to add another vertices here okay now refine vertices refine vertices means you want this curve more smooth okay you want to make this curve more smooth okay suppose I want to refine this now refine vertices see this curve becoming more smooth you can see here okay Now SP line CV okay this is your curve okay now I refine this you can see becoming more smooth refine refine vertices you can see the difference you can see this become this became more smooth okay now remove refine refine this became more smooth okay now remove vertices means you want to remove this vertices you want to remove this vertex so remove vertex remove vertex you want to remove any vertex then remove vertices okay so like this you can edit SP line CV and SP line fit okay now to display or height con uh, display or height control vertices just select or deselect the SP line or type CV so to display the vertices and select enter you can see the vertex here you can see all the vertex these are the vertices now SP line method CV draw another SP line CV okay now select or deselect to show or hide now type CB show to display the vertex display all the vertex select now select enter you, you can see here all the vertices okay now to hide vertices type CV hide CV hide now you can't see the vertices okay all right
now sp line method fit okay select fit a cv according to your requirement okay now we have two options okay start tangency tolerance you can see we have two options start tangency and tolerance okay start tangency means to specify the direction of the start of the sp line okay to specify the direction start of the sp line suppose uh, draw a line i'll i'll take a line okay okay now fit okay now start tangency means to specify the direction suppose i'll take direction on this line okay click here now you can see here okay now i'll draw the sp line okay now to end the sp line i'll click on end tangency you can see the direction here now click on end tangency and using this tangency parameter you can control the curvature of sp line okay now again sp line enter method fit okay now you can see i'll take i'll take the direction like this okay now i click on end tangency you can see the direction and click on end tangency and click here end tangency click here okay now sp line again now method fit click now tolerance okay so tolerance means specify fit tolerance okay to com so complete curve will be drawn in tolerance unit okay you need you have to give a unit suppose 5 okay enter now okay draw this so this complete curve this complete curve is drawn in 5 unit tolerance okay this this you can see this is the tolerance is you can see this is this vertex all the vertices are not going through the sp line here tolerance is 5 unit okay now again sp line method tolerance okay now i'll give one unit okay now click now see the you can see the fit point is away from the curve okay so complete curve will is this complete curve is drawn in one unit tolerance one unit tolerance okay so by using tolerance you can make your vertices away from sp line okay by using tolerance you can make your vertices away from sp line okay so it specifies the distance by which the sp line is allowed to deviate from the specified fit point okay so a tolerance value of 0 requires the resulting sp line to pass directly through the fit points if tolerance value is 0 give 0 okay then then the sp line will pass directly through the fit points here you can see sp line is going through the fit points okay so this is tolerance okay 
by using tolerance you can make your vertices away from the sp line so method fit okay now tolerance one undo if you want to undo this you can undo i'll draw this now i want to undo then click on undo okay if you want to undo then undo or if you want to close then click on close okay hope you understand Now SP line. Next option is knots. So knots. Click on knots. So we have three options: core, square root, uniform. Okay. So first option is core. Select. We have three options. So first option is core. So take a polyline. Okay. I'll draw according to three options. Core. First is core. So, core length method spaces the knots connecting each component curve to be proportional to the distances between each associ associated pair of fit points. Okay. So, I'll draw SP line by core. Okay. This is the first method core. Enter. So I'll change the color. Make the screen. So next is square root. So SP line enter knots square root. Select square root. So square root method spaces the knots connecting each component curve to be proportional to the square root of the distance between each associated pair of fit points. Okay. So I'll draw this square root method. You can see the difference. I'm taking same points, but all the SP lines are different. You can see this is by square root square root method. Next, uniform SP L enter knots. Then uniform select uniform. Now this method. Spaces the knots of each component curve to be equal regardless of the spacing of the fit points. Okay, this is uniform. So same. I'll start from here. Next point. This one is next point. Again, this point. You can see three SP lines are different. You can see this is by core, square root, and uniform method. You can see the difference. Okay. All right. So next, SP line. Enter. Last option is object. Object. Okay. So first, I'll create one object. Suppose this is an object. Okay. Now this is an object. Now we need to convert this to SP line. Okay. I need to convert this to SP line. So select object option. Okay. Now we need we need this object should be a SP SP line fit polyline. Okay. You can see. It asks us as this, this object should be SP line polyline. SP, SP line fit polyline. So select this, right click. Now go to polyline and click on SP line fit. Okay, we need to convert the object to SP line fit polyline first. Now you can see it's looking like a SP line, but it's not a SP line. It's a SP line fit polyline. Okay, you can check by using list command list. Select this. See, this is a polyline. Okay. Now, select the object. <coughs> now again, 
I'll take a SP line. Okay. Select SP line and convert to polyline. Give precision, grip precision 1. Suppose 1, it's we are converting SP line to polyline. Okay. Now, you can see. Select the SP line and this is the polyline. Okay. Take the SP line. Now, select right click SP line. Convert to polyline. Okay, now give the precision 1, enter. Okay, you can see. Okay, you can see here it's converted to polyline. You can see here this is polyline. Okay, so in this manner you can. Convert SP line to polyline and polyline to SP line. So, hope you like this video. Now, if you like this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.